Happiness is an emotional response to an outcome. If I win, I will be happy. If I don't, I won't. It's an if-then, cause and effect, quid pro quo standard that we cannot sustain because we immediately raise it every time we attain it. You see, happiness, happiness demands a certain outcome. It is result reliant. And I say if happiness is what you're after, then you're going to be let down frequently and you're going to be unhappy much of your time. Joy, though, joy is a different thing. It's something else. Joy is not a choice. It's not a response to some result. It's a constant. Joy is the feeling that we have from doing what we are fashioned to do, no matter the outcome. Now, personally, as an actor, I started enjoying my work and literally being more happy when I stopped trying to make the daily labor a means to a certain end. For example, uh, I need this film to be a box office success. You know, I need my performance to be acknowledged. I, I need the respect of my peers. All those are reasonable aspirations, but the truth is, as soon as the work, the daily making of the movie, the doing of the deed became the reward in itself for me, I got more box office, more accolades and respect than I ever had before. See, joy is always in process. It's under construction. It is in constant approach, alive and well in the doing of what we're fashioned to do and enjoying. Define success for yourself. You already like that one? <laughs> Define success for yourself. Now check this out. I'm in uh, south of New Orleans uh, a few years ago and I went to a voodoo shop uh, and they had this, this, this wooden partition against the wall of these columns. And in, in these columns were all these vials of these magic potions, right? And the headings above each potion defining what they would give you were things like fertility, health, uh, family, legal health, energy, forgiveness, money. Hmm. Guess which column was empty? Money. Let's admit it. Money is king today. It's what make the world, makes the world go round. It is success. The more we have, the more successful we are, right? We so often focus on failure, don't we? We study failure. We obsess with failure. We dissect failure and our failures. We dissect them so much we end up intoxicated with them to the point of disillusion. And when do we write in our diary, usually? when we're depressed? What do we gossip about? Other people's flaws and limitations? We can dissect ourselves into self-loathing if we're not careful. And I find that most of the times our obsession with what is wrong just ends up breeding more wrong, more failure. Now, the easiest way to dissect success is through gratitude. Giving thanks for that which we do have, for what is working. Appreciating the simple things we sometimes take for granted. We give thanks for these things and that gratitude reciprocates, creating more to be thankful for. It's really simple and it works. Now I'm not saying be in denial of your failures. No, we can learn from them too, but only if we look at them constructively as a means to reveal what we are good at, what we can get better at, what we do succeed at. Now, personally, I've read a whole lot of my bad reviews. Right? I've had quite a few. Written by the more talented critics, they are the ones who give constructive bad reviews. They reveal to me what did translate in my work, what came across, what was seen, or what wasn't. Now, I don't obsess on the unfavorable aspect of their review, but I do see what I can learn from it because their displeasure actually uncovers and makes more apparent what I do do well, what I am successful at, and then I dissect that. Our life's a verb. We try our best, we don't always do our best.